everyone, welcome back to another part of my Magic Cutter series. For today we're going to do um, a kind of a kimono tutorial. Kind of confusing maybe, but your kata can only be worn as your kata. You can kind of spice it up a little bit if you want to say it like that. And just wear it as a kimono, meaning a jiban and a regular nagoya obi instead of a hanama obi. So for now, the kimono tutorial, I have two more tutorials, which is about Otaiko, which is the regular kind of like a casual kimono, uh, kimono. <laughs> or we got uh, not, and then Tsunodashi, which is kind of similar in look, but it's totally different. So, we're going to do the kimono tutorial now. Let's go. So here we are. I have already put my jewel on, just a regular kind of jewel. Tied it all up, got my yukata on. And as always, grab both panels, put them aside, and hug the hem up. Now, with your cutter, you want to raise it above your ankles, but as we're going to tie it like a kimono, you want to make sure that it's below the ankles. And measure the front width. This one's okay. Going in with the right, raise the inner corner a little bit, grab your left, and hold it with your right hand. Then you want to take a koshi himo and tie it. Now, ideally, you would place it at the waist, but with me being so tall, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> So I just tied it below my waist. Tie it up. Tip the ends underneath. Then just slip your hand inside and push the fabric down. I usually just block it down in the back. It's just it's easier. Yeah, it was nice and smooth. Just want to rearrange the colors. Now I'm just going to lift the camera up so you can see. As you can see, I've got my Shiba colors here and my Yukata colors here. Now we want to go inside with your left hand, grab your right collar with your right hand, the left collar, and slightly pull it so that you get a nice V. Then side off with the Kashihimo just underneath the bust. Then pull the sides down and rearrange the back. Hope you can see. And this is all stuff that I have explained in regular kimono tutorials, so you want to see it in depth, you can always see. take a look over there. And finally, I prefer to use a data gmail. This is optional though, you can either use a cordon belt, just a, just a hemo or a hemo and a data gmail, like I use here, just for extra color security. And there we go. That's how you basically dress up a yukata as a kimono. 